games. Goldilocks is code name for a game that Nancy and I used to play when she was a kid. It means pay attention to the third thing I'm about to say. Oh. The three bears. The third thing was always just right. Excuse me. <laughs> the is an old case of brief robbery at a store. The criminals booby trapped the exits, took hostages in the home goods section, and Nancy led the cops to Nancy is quick thinking. Uh, the police station exits are most likely elect. That's a great idea. Great. Okay, if these don't work, maybe we can scale the side of the building, hope to find a trap door on the roof. Look at us. We need chase. <laughs> oh god, this is doomed. I love Stay it. <laughs> Outside the restaurant that night, Dolores. And Brandon. Ooh, Brandon lied. Because I'm, I'm afraid of him. My Dolores is a sweet girl who loves flowers. She's never even smoked or drank. Oh. oh. Of course, your mother's gonna, he's watching Brenda's house. That's not my house. My family. What? He's trapped Oh, shit. So I have an alibi. Oh my god. Oh shit. My skin's cold. Wait, wait, stop, 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 it's not it's ripping, it's ripping. No. What? Uh, okay. Well, that didn't work so well. Detective Tom. What? What do you see? What do you find? Nancy, wait! I've seen that earring before. You both have. Remember? Oh. The police officer. The the police officer. Trust me one more time. She's about to close the door. Yep. Ooh! What are you this doing? is getting great. Somebody here is still lying. Somebody knows what happened to Dolores. Oh, Nancy's pissed. Until we find out how she died. I'm the arbiter now. Ooh. I love Nancy so much. Because this says that you were released at 8 a.m. the next day. Okay, well, that's definitely not true. Ooh, someone pulls the report. No it's the cop lady. The cop lady. Pound, so I had to walk. You must have misunderstood me. Employee personnel record for that night. Officer Hampton. I knew. Duty. I knew it she was her. Brian, you said something earlier about the pipes. Are you surrendering that way? I'd rather work. He said, if I didn't come before, he'd make sure I never got back up again. She's oh, lying. shit. Dolores came in, holding her. I wanted to call the doctor. The freezer said no. They oh. all do that. They all call for their mothers. They, Dolores had a seizure. Oh shit. She was bleeding inside of her head. You're the cops. I can't believe that insane story, Kim. I kept the dash cam for just for that night. Oh shit. You told me not to. You hit her head against the car right after you handcuffed her. Oh. The video shows it all. You pulled her over without probable cause. You terrified and assaulted her. Hampton, you left her to die a and painful oh, death man. alone as she cried out for help and hope. Did you get all of that? Who is this person I remember? It was the priest lady. Uh, I knew she was involved. She knew what happened. She wanted it out, didn't she? Damn, Nancy. She knows. She pays attention to everything. I did not know that at all. After all that died, Mary grieved, healed, but eventually found love again. Oh. A great love. She had a full life and died in old age, surrounded by family. Oh, that's good at least. But that was only a very small part of Mary's long story. Montes! I'm sorry. The dick just cannot catch a break, can't you? The triangle me. 
Odette's lifeline is violent and brief. If you do not find a way to die. your connection, no. your lifeline will break short. Shit. Reclaim your destiny, Joe. <laughs> don't take the soul away from you. You don't have to keep hugging me if you don't want to. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Welcome back. Okay. Yeah. Why did you pick November nineteenth? It's the anniversary of the Gettysburg Address. What? Kate had a mild obsession with Abraham Lincoln, and that's who Nancy was to us. Still is. Aww. Our better angel. Oh, that's so cute. You know what, I haven't even changed. She doesn't feel that way about Very herself nice. because of the trial. <laughs> oh, man, please. Oh, no. I don't like watching Nancy cry. Oh, yeah, she's gonna make me cry. No, Nancy. Nancy, what are you going to do? That did not look healthy, Nancy. Whatever you just did there. Uh-oh. Like... Oh my god, this episode is so good. It was so real and like emotional. It was just the things that were happening. It was like to the real world. It was a lot of parallels. It was it was a great episode. I loved it, you guys. Um, let's just get into my notes. Uh, I got really emotional during a lot of this episode. <laughs> Damn. All right, so this whole the episode kind of begins with well Nancy getting arrested, of course. And then it all goes to heck when all these people arrive at the police pre pre police precinct. Got it. Um, and basically the place gets hacked, shut down, doors electrocuted, power off, and everyone's locked in there, including Nancy, Tamara, um, Ryan, Nick. The town council councilman, um, Officer Hampton, and whatever her name was that I didn't like. Busy, Lizzie, something like that. Um, and basically it's this whole thing about Dolores and finding who killed Dolores and the one of the people in there knows what happened. And this person calling themselves the Arbiter is doing it. I predicted quite early on once, I knew once they had all trapped in there, I was like, okay, wait, there was someone else that was in there, the reverend, and she was in and then she left. So she's either the person that was guilty and did it, or she's the one planning it. And I knew she had something involved with it, so I was writing that. I was very proud of myself for that. And Tomorrow I get electrocuted, so he's hurt, not so good. Um, we also have Great Aunt May, which I loved. This was the cutest thing with Great Aunt May being possessing Ace's body, and she was just savage. And she was so, she was spilling the tea. She was so savage against George, and it was hilarious. But then at the end, she was so heartfelt and emotional with George, and uh And then she was telling her how Odette and George their lifelines are connect are starting to connect. So if they she stays in George's body for too long. Eventually, George's gonna have a short life like her. So then he fixed that shit. Ace knows about it, so. Oh my gosh. Only a few episodes left. I don't know what's gonna happen. But back to the. Dolores stuff. Um, eventually, Carson gets a message from Nancy, and I thought it was really cool. Love the way that she thought of it on her foot to say what she needed to say. 
and tell him without actually telling him in front of the cameras. So Carson gets help from Bess and George in their hilarious scale building. They're, they're cute. I like them. They were a funny little team this episode. And basically everyone inside the pre pre precinct, let's not say that word today, precinct, everyone inside of it that's part of this is basically just lying, all of them. Like, oh yeah, I forgot that was also the reporter guy. He was lying because he was actually dating Dolores and she was not drunk at all. And then there was the woman who got hit by her car who called the police on her because she was black. And then there was the councilman who was a sheriff or police officer at that time. I think just police officer. And he pulled her over, arrested her, hit her head on the side of the car. The, head, the hood of the car, I think. And then brought her to the police station where... She would, um, for Officer Hampton was told to leave and listen and left her, left, um, Dolores alone where she had a seizure because her brain was bleeding and died there. And then they, and then the, the councilman and the, and Officer Hampton covered it up. So yeah, everyone had a fault at this. I would say the one that had the least was probably the reporter because it was, like, boyfriend, girlfriend, having a fight thing. But lying about it and telling everyone that she was drunk was fucked up. Making everyone believe that she was a drunk who just drove off Cliff. Look, that's fucked up. If you if he had just said, I was next, we had a fight, and you have an alibi there. I don't know why. Like, you have an obvious alibi at the bar. I don't know why you wouldn't just tell the truth. It's fucked up. I don't know. But then we learn that the Arbiter is the Reverend who had figured it out because the earring, she was the one that found the earring in the precinct and realized it was Loris's and decided to finally get her, kind of, get the truth out. And I love her for it. It's good for her. That was, this was a really good episode. It was like, it's kind of like a game of Clue, or like the movie Clue. I never actually seen the movie Clue, but I, I know the game and I know what it's about, but... Like, there was all the pieces, like, who did it, with what, when, where. It was really cool. And there was a lot of lying back and forth. And then Nancy was really... Nancy is having some problems because, as we see, obviously, at the end of the episode, she's... She's very... She's hard on herself. Really hard on herself. Because Everett's gotten off because of her. And those 12 people died and don't get justice now. And she's pissed at herself. And she hasn't believe in herself and Dolores was kind of a small part in her feeling like maybe she could be but obviously by the end there hearing that stuff about why she was named and what her birthday was ugh that really hit her and I don't like seeing Nancy cry that got me really emotional it's a good episode Nick was really good this episode I liked him everything he said was right and he, he was great this episode I liked him a lot it was a good episode, you guys. I, I really... Oh, it was good. What did we have? 15, 16, 17? I think... I think there's only th 17 episodes this season, right? Let me, let me check. I had the IMD page already open. I know there's 18. At least 18. So we got four more. Yeah. Can't wait. Honestly. Love this show. And I don't know how they're going to end this season. It, it's been a really good season so far. I, I think it's even... Uh, it's very different from season one. I wouldn't say better or worse. It's equal. It's just very different. Season one was all really just focused on, um, oh gosh, why can't I think of a name? Dead Lucy. It was like one spirit kind of the whole time until the end when we had the, um, I can't remember its name either, the mermaid looking thing that was Odette. But that was kind of at the end and then they had to cancel, end it because of on uh, COVID, so season two had to finish it at the beginning of the season, so yeah. It was mostly, it's mostly was Dead Lucy season one. A lot of Dead Lucy. This season's been a lot more different ones every week. I kind of like it. But with overall kind of thing, with Everett going on, and with um, Odette. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next week. <laughs> As always, don't forget to leave that thumbs up, that subscribe button down below, and that notification bell, you know what to do with it. 
Okay, thank you guys for watching so much. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode, what you want to see happen, what you think is going to happen, what you liked, what you didn't like about the episode. Let me know. Okay, thank you for watching so much. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.